90% of the things in our lives are right and only 10% are wrong. So if you wanna to learn to be happier, it's simple. All you have to do is concentrate on the 90% that's right and don't give so much energy to the 10% that you wish was different. It's tragic how much time and energy we waste thinking and lamenting about things we think we need that we overlook our abundant blessings. I was guilty of that just the other day and that's why I decided to make this video for you. I woke up and for some crazy reason, I decided to have a reality check. So I stepped on the scale and I freaked out well, by what it showed. It ruined my entire day. I was constantly shaming myself for something that I created myself. Crazy, right? Well, by 2 p.m., my daughter called from school and she said she needed to come home. She was very upset, very distressed. And she shared with me that one of her good friends tried to overdose. And in that moment, my whole outlook changed and I forgot all about why I was upset. And I began to feel grateful because I realized how unimportant my few pounds were in light of all my blessings. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome to Conversations from the Heart. The key to a happy life is to add perspective to all the things that make you unhappy. For example, instead of feeling frustrated that you are not where you want to be, take a look at where you were and how far you've come to be where you are. It's the same action, it's the same process, different lenses. One focuses on the lack, on the unattained. The other one focuses on what you have achieved. It is just a minor adjustment on what you choose to focus on that is the key to a happier and more fulfilled life. Develop the habit of adding a dose of perspective to all things in life. When I complained about the taxes that I got to pay the government every year, my partner reminds me to be grateful because if I have taxes to pay, it means I make money. And that simple tweak in my thinking did wonders. I was no longer resentful, I was grateful. So in all things in your life, if you can just add that small tweak as well, that small adjustment, that is all you need. We are literally one adjustment away from feeling happier with our life circumstances. The reality is that as much as we'd like to complain about the things in our lives, there's someone watching who will gladly switch to have our lives. There's a sick person out there who give anything to have your health. There's a chi childless couple who will pay anything as well to have the children you have. There's someone alone that will trade places with you on a heartbeat to have the partner you have. And yes, there is probably somewhere, someone watching who may wish to have my weight. So in everything, learn to be grateful, learn to say things and keep the right perspective. If you find yourself complaining that you had a difficult time at the office, just think about all the people who have no jobs. Think for a second, when you are feeling sorry about your troubles, how much will someone pay to have your heart, to have your lungs, your eyes? I bet that making the tiny adjustment in perspective will make you realize how truly fortunate you are. In my case, instead of continuing to sour my day over my weight, 
I chose to look at uh, to look at the situation through different lenses, different angle. I didn't deny my feelings, but I chose to remember a time where I lost the weight and chose to believe that if I did it then, I could do it again. Big difference. You have all you need to be happy. And if you're not, you may just be missing the right dose of perspective. I will see you on the next episode of Conversations from the Heart.